now that I have some semblance of what at least the beginning of the season is going to be now, this is so interesting. I'm so curious what's going to happen. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Bungo Stray Dogs Season 2, Episode 2. This one is called Nowhere to Return. I'm very curious about that. Very curious about what's going to happen. This is all Port Mafia stuff, all Desai stuff. Uh, new character Oda, Ongo, really like Oda, uh, love his voice actor, super curious what's going to happen, especially as to why he refuses to kill anyone, and how Desai keeps pushing him and dark, pushing him darker and darker, and how d dark Desai is, oh my lord. I need to know more, so I say we learn more, I say we jump right on into this episode, I am so excited. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description, like always. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment down below. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Appreciate you guys very, very much. Bungo Stray Dogs, Season 2, Episode 2, Nowhere to return. Let's do this. No one knew who you really were. Western style food and curry. That looks delicious. Because he is the Port Mafia's errand boy and he doesn't kill, so he deals with like the disputes and the very small scale stuff, he seems to be much more grounded and much more. I don't know. I don't want to say friendly, but kind of friendly like it seems like he wouldn't be a bad guy to have a conversation with you know look at them look at all these kids being kids <laughs> he's getting jumped oh my god <laughs> old man just making this curry <laughs> you got them all AKA tickling you. Oh my god, I would get tickle tortured when I was a kid. I hated it so much. <laughs> he like inhaled like a balloon. I didn't know they were all orphans. I thought they were his kids, but... He is most definitely the strangest person in the Port Mafia, but also it's a fair rebuttal. So is Desai. Wow, he's really taking care of orphans. Shouts out to Oda. Mimic is European. The Order of the Clock Tower. A powerful gift. Supernatural Special Operations Division? I wonder if that's like the pre-ADA before it was the ADA. I mean, damn, really? That sucks. Nowhere to run. I love these title screens, too. Oh my god! Casino bar? They're ransacking the place. The passcode they already knew as well. Only leads to make me believe Ango more, but it's empty. This is the trap. This is the mouse trap from Desai. Okay, I like this. With sleeping gas to knock everyone out. No hesitation killed themselves before they could even have a chance of getting captured. Holy shit. Mm, to Europe, you say? 
Really, when he was working here? <laughs> the Ryuzu dispute. That's what he mentioned earlier with the orphans. I like that answer. They got him. That's how they took him to the Lupin. I really like those circular ice balls, you know? I'm assuming that's just whiskey on the rocks. I have no idea. Little flashback while he was at that desk. Man, curious. Definitely curious. It's been a minute, Akutagawa. Long time no see. Oh, this is the same place they had Dazai captured last season. Where uh, Chuya was like, you should know about all the shit that goes down here. He's like, that was a rhetorical question. But obviously, it wouldn't be able to hit Rashomon. Oh, okay. I mean, I still don't. I mean, I love Akutagawa as an antagonist. I still don't necessarily agree with his super violent and and dirty methods he gets stuff done but i do understand fully his hatred for desai as his superior for treating him like this because desai especially with how desai is so i don't want to say chill but a lot more chill with atsushi that's why i'm trying to wonder how he changes over the years but i thought he was just gonna leave it at oh great now our only clue was gone like Technically, Akutagawa could have tried to capture him without killing him, but he was an armed man going after his comrades. He had every right to kill him. And when he tried to give an excuse for that, oh my, I was not expecting Desai to fucking lay him out like that. And let's say he didn't have Rashomon. He'd be dead right now from those gunshots. So it's like, I love how he said, I know a guy who is taking care of orphans. If he was the one who found you, he definitely would not abandon you. That's righteousness. I'm a man hated by righteousness. This is what I do to my subordinates. Oh my God, Desai is so crazy. And I can see why, especially, oh man, this is just crazy. This is just getting deep. This is deep. It's just, this is giving some more context as to Okutigawa season one. So that was the first time he's even defended it. I thought he was, he was actually willing to sh kill him. That's such praise. Oh my god. And he's belittling Akutsugawa again. 
from a dried leaf that was stuck okay see so, yeah, you really i know this is very real in terms of actual investigating you can get so much information from stuff on a person's body お前が困っている理由を一つ推測してみよう。ミミックにお前がスパイだとバレた。それは。スパイだと思ってる。だが逆だ。was all for the benefit of the Mafia. Ah, okay. That's what I was curious about, some of the conditions. Yeah, it wouldn't, it's like spider senses, it would have pot maybe it's only in like lethal situations. So now you have five, six seconds right now. You gotta do something actively, go the other way, yep. So it is a lot like spider sense. It literally goes off when he needs it the most, which is so interesting. Pardon? I mean, it's better than the explosion. Okay, shouts out Ongo not being the spy. It's like a one of those Tamari balls, right? It happened after he already touched it, so he couldn't have avoided that. Poison embedded in the ball? Yeah, it's a very discreet way of killing someone that you... I'm so perplexed. I am so... So perplexed as to what's going on. So, the only reason I'm confused, I was kind of on Oda's side where I was like, oh damn, it must be Ango. All the signs point to Ango. And then he came up with a counter conclusion of that where Ongo's actually like this whole thing was a big scheme to get Ongo deep on the inside and the cover in Mimic, but help us out in the end. But then Ongo ends up not helping us with the poison ball and running away with the soldiers. And he was saying what he said wasn't a lie, but he definitely seemed to not be on our side. I just need to know the full ins and outs. That's mm. I'm missing so many key pieces to this puzzle that it's hard to even picture the grand scheme of things, you know? The whole Dazai Akutagawa scene was was insane, and I, I do enjoy the faith he has in Oda, and now like how it relates to Atsushi, how I saw it in the future, but he really does treat Akutagawa, his, uh, his subordinate, like shit, which I can see why he would have a, a, a hate with Dazai. He would have this sort of vengeance towards Dazai, want to get him captured, tortured, all that jazz. I completely understand that. It's just... This is so not what I was expecting for Bungo Stray Dog Season 2. I'm really enjoying it. I'm super confused, like I said. I need to know more about Mori Ugai and his grand scheme. I need to know more about Ango. I need to know more about Mimic and this guy. is spelled like Guide, but Gide, however they said that. He has a super powerful gift, they said, which uh, I'm... T I just need to know more, man. I gotta keep watching, which I think I'm about to. But... 
I want to see Oda kind of, I kind of want to see Oda get angry from the bottom of his heart. And we don't see him in the future. So maybe, I, but I don't know. I need to know what happens because we haven't even heard of Oda in the future. Hmm. Hmm. I'm super curious. I really don't know. I really like his power though. The flawless in the future, all that. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I got to hop into these episodes. I got to, I got to watch a little bit more. Um, Subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. Check out that Patreon for early access and full length. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Appreciate y'all. Drink water, be safe, tell someone you love them. See you in this next episode. Peace out, Dapper Squad.